Live, this is Fox News Midday. Welcome back to 1145. Right now, one group working hard to make sure more people can get to college. The organization called the Community for Life Foundation has helped more than 350 students with almost a million dollars in scholarships. And now they're working to help even more students. Joining me this morning through TAN TV is Dr. Lauren Scott, Executive Director, and Brianna Flowers-Joseph, a former scholarship recipient. Good morning to you both. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you for having us. So there's a pretty big goal this year oh, when yeah. it comes to students. Talk about what this is. Well, we're very excited. It's our 23rd year. Uh, we've given, again, over uh, $800,000, almost uh, three quarters of a million dollars, yeah. obviously. Um, and uh, we're, we're trying to give $100,000. Last year we partnered with, uh, with, the, um, with uh, Wells Fargo uh -huh. and they gave us a very generous donation. And because of that, we were able to give $70,000. So this year uh -huh. we're trying to make sure that we help today's learners become tomorrow's leaders by giving $100,000 in scholarships. That's a lot of money. Yes, sir. That's very important. <laughs> so uh, you're looking for students. You're also looking for people to get you to that, yes. that, that amount. So talk about that, that search. Absolutely. So we're, we're definitely trying to find students, again, that uh, are not chasing the money, but they're chasing yeah. their mission. They're not chasing their pa uh, uh, purse, but they're chasing the, their passion, right? Yeah. And so we want to marry that with, obviously, with sponsors that understand that we need to reinvest back in our communities by helping today's learners become tomorrow's leaders and finding those people that are mission-minded right now so that they can uh, give back in perpetuity and make sure in succession that our kids, 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 grandkids will feel the yeah. impact that they're making today. I want to talk about the impact of this scholarship. You've gotten this before. Yes. What has it, what did it do for you? Well, for me, I actually got it two years in, in a row for my, um, while I was in gr graduate school. Mm -hmm. um, and it impacted me greatly, so I didn't have to pull out as many student loans. Okay. Um, you know, going to grad school to become a, a pediatric nurse practitioner can be quite pricey. Mm -hmm. So this, the, um, the Community for, for Life Foundation really impacted me greatly by helping me not have to pull out as many loans and to alleviate that um, that loan a burden that 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 many students currently have mm -hmm. and, and college is so 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 expensive mm -hmm. and you've been doing this for for <laughs> more than 20 years just talk about the impact we've seen the impact with her just to all the all the people that have been part of this absolutely so i'm actually a former recipient as well oh, as wow. well as uh, look how well <laughs> <laughs> right as, as well as a future dr uh, uh flowers here but uh, but again we've had over 350 recipients and some are recipients like we have alexia beretta who's at uh -huh. ut band she played in the Sugar Bowl this past year or we have uh, Steve Williams who was a Harvard grad who actually uh, became an NFL coach or we have Bryson Graham who's the assistant GM in the New Orleans Pelicans uh, so mm -hmm. so we have quite a bit of people who have made an impact out of that 350 and we're trying to expand we want to give more scholarship money to more students this year to again create those uh, learners that are becoming leaders. So when you look at the impact of the scholarship from just the names you, you've talked about there, it sounds like this is a very important stepping stone to get to a bigger a bigger purpose. Yes, sir. And again, again, we're trying to find people who want to give back, who yeah. want to serve. And it's uh, all you have to do, a 250 word essay, two letters of rec, uh, 2.5 GPA, and 25 years of uh, 25 years. Well, that too. <laughs> 25 hours of community service. <laughs> but, which could which, become 20. Which years. would transmute into 25 <laughs> years of, uh, of community service, right? An impact. So absolutely. But you start with 25 hours. Right, right, right. Start getting small. ahead of myself. What I want, what I want you know, discuss anybody from applying. <laughs> exactly. 18 year olds, I'm like, I cannot yeah. even know yet. Uh, so this ends with a very special event August 3rd. Talk about that. Yes, sir. We're very excited. It's going to be at the San Antonio Airport Marriott, and uh, that's going to be at August 3rd. That's the day we're going yeah. to give $100,000 in scholarships. Again, we're, uh, uh, we, we're a 501c3 founded by Keith yeah. and Denise Graham, and we have one of our keynote speakers will be uh, Bryson Graham, who is, uh, he was NBA's 40 into 40. Uh, two years ago, and he slated to be one of the youngest GM in NBA history, and so he'll be our keynote. And uh, again, with the, the generous contributions of Wells Fargo and many others, we're attempting to give $100,000 that day, so we're very excited. In 10 seconds, how can people who are interested, what do they need to do? Absolutely. You need to apply at our website, www.cflfoundation.org. CFL, not Canadian Football League, but <laughs> www.cflfoundation.org. All right, Lauren Scott and Brianna Flowers-Joseph, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Appreciate thank it. Thank you.